Hello and welcome to my new video which is based on again the solution of an algebraic equation. In this video we are going to discuss about the regular falsi method. What is it? This is uh, this just comprises of a similarity with bisection method. You have to take two values by hidden trial method for which the function comprises of one positive and other negative value. When you find out this, then you have to find out the third value by regular falsi method formula. What is it? It is x1 minus x2 minus x1 by fx2 minus fx1 product of fx1. Okay. Here we go. We have an illustration. You have to find out the roots of the equation fx of this equation. So, if you take f as 1 and uh, x as 1 and x as 2, then you'll find out that you have a function of negative term and a function of positive term. So, your x1 is 1, your x2 is 2. Now, you have to find out the value x3. So, your x1 is 1 minus x2 is 2 minus 1 by fx2 is 3. fx1 is minus 4. When you substitute all these values, you'll get... 1.57143. Now, this is your x3. You have to find out the value of fx3 and check out, check it out that what is the sign of that value. f of x3, that means f of 1.57143. How can you find out it? 1.57143 whole cube, 1.57143 whole square, minus 3 into 1.57143 minus 3. So, uh, by substituting all these values and calculating, you will find out that your value of fx3 is negative. So, again, you have to take two such values for which the function has one negative and one positive value. So, your fx3 is negative, your positive value is f2, that is 3. So, your x2 is 2, your x1 is x3, that means 1.57143. So now you have to find out the value of x4. x4 will be x, uh, x2, x1 minus x2 minus x1 by fx2, fx2. f of x2 means f of 2. That means 3 minus f of x1 is f of 1.57143, which is your minus 1.36443. When you solve it, you will find out that your value is positive. Now you have to take... Uh, you have to substitute this value into the value of function fx4 that means f of 1.70541 that means 1.70541 whole cube plus 1.70541 whole square and so on so you'll find out that your value is negative now again you have to take again you have to take a positive value that means your f2 then you have to find out x5 then x6 then x7 when you will keep repeating the process, you will find out that last two values will be the same up to three decimal places. That means 731, 731. So you have to take the last value, the last solution as 1.731. I hope you get it. So rest of the topic we will discuss in our next class. Till then don't subscribe to, uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.